Right, hi all. Um, it's uh, early spring, sort of late winter morning. It's absolutely fantastic at the moment. The light's great, uh, it's really warm, and I'm looking for uh, adders today. And this is a really good time to look for adders because they've sort of, they're solar powered. So they've been hibernating all winter, and we've got this lovely warm uh, weather coming through quite early. So they're going to come out, hopefully. I've already seen an adder, which is great. Uh, and they're going to charge themselves up, and uh, later on, obviously, as time goes on, they'll want to get ready for breeding. So they'll be out and about quite early in the year, actually. And what we're waiting for is this early morning, uh, warm sunlight. And we're looking for areas where the sun's shining directly on. And if you can look behind me, you'll see we've got like a little slope with the sun shining straight on that slope. So that's really good. And it's going to warm that whole area up. And the beauty of this area also is the fact that there's lots of sort of bushes and trees and undergrowth. So if they do get disturbed or they get scared, they can slither off or get into somewhere to hide. So this is a really good area. And um, this is, I know this is an area where we see adders quite often, and this is the right time of year to see adders. So I'm hoping we're going to get some great stuff today. Uh, as I say, I've already seen um, the adders uh, about 20 minutes ago, and I've got a couple of shots. Uh, I want to shoot some uh, video as well, and it's looking good. So the weather's great. We're here at the right time of the year, and uh, I think we're going to get some great shots. Um, I'm using my 200 to 500 mil zoom because it's quite flexible for framing. Uh, I'm on f7.1. So it's going to give me a reasonable depth of field, but I'm not expecting to get the whole of the animal in sharp focus, but I will be focusing on the eyes. So if the eye's sharp and the head's sharp, even if the body is sort of going off out of focus uh, with that shallower depth of field, that's fine. And actually it focuses attention on the head of the animal. So it's all looking good. So I'm looking forward to an absolutely great morning. And it's just, again, about that patience and waiting for the animal to turn up or animals because it's, uh, numerous adders around this area. So we're in the right area, top, right space uh, area, location. We're at the right time of year, late uh, winter, early spring, and it's just that waiting game now. And uh, I love it being out here. The weather's good, and it's all looking great for a great day's photography. So I'm just gonna wait around, and hopefully those adders will turn up quite soon. So I'll speak to you soon, guys. I think adders are really beautiful animals to photograph. Um, I think reptiles, and snakes in particular, do get a bit of a bad press sometimes. It's a bit like spiders. Some people are scared of spiders, they're scared of snakes. I think because they are so different um, to us, really, I suppose. But they're beautiful. I mean, they come in all different colours and patterns. And if you look at the way that adders move them through the environment, it's just effortless. So they're supremely adapted to the environment and they're great to photograph. I mean, sometimes you have to wait around for a while because they can spend a lot of time basking in the sun and not doing much. But if you're a patient, that pays off because they will start moving and they may be open their mouth and you can get shots of their fangs. There's uh, always the, um, the possibility of doing close-ups of the patterns on their skin, head shots. So even though they're not the most fast moving animals, there's a lot of variety you can uh, get in your photography when you're photographing adders and other reptiles. It's just tone, uh, looking at, at that animal and really working on the composition and your, your framing, coming in close and tight framing, coming further out and showing the, the animals in, in its environment. So I love photographing adders. They're great animals to photograph. Um, and as I say, um, if you're uh, there at the right time of the year and you know the animals are present at that location, so you do your research, there's a very good chance that you're going to get your shots. And uh, that little bit of patience during the day pays off because you do they do spend a lot of time just basking in the sun and not moving. So it's a case of just waiting until that little bit of action starts to happen and um, you'll be rewarded with your patience. Right, I've had an absolutely brilliant day today. Um, I've been here um, on this location for about five hours, maybe six hours. So I've been here all day. And we had uh, adders come out um, first thing in the morning. Got a few shots of the adders then. And then it was a question of waiting for about, I don't know, at least four hours for them to start moving again. But then they started moving into position with good light and the adders were absolutely fantastic. So I'm really, really, really pleased again. It's been a stunningly great day. The weather's been great. Um, the, the adders have turned up which is brilliant and this is again as I say the right time of year so shoot late winter early spring when they're getting ready to sort of um, when they're getting ready to um, become active again so they come out their hibernation 
they need to build up energy and they're solar powered so they like to get out in the sun as the minute they can so if you get a really great day which is nice and warm and sunny uh, early spring late winter then and you're in a, a site that's got adders you've got a really good chance of seeing those guys and as I say um, I've not been worried about a depth of field too much I've made sure I've got the head and the eye sharp but if you do want to increase your depth of field then obviously you can change your camera position so instead of shooting the adder sort of head on so the head is at the front and then the body's going right the way off into the background um, and obviously the body would start to go out of focus if you move to the side and then the adder's sort of sideways you've got a much greater chance of getting more of that animal in focus so it's not always about the f number you choose obviously if you choose a bigger f number that will give you a bigger depth of field uh, but it will also reduce your shutter speed as well so it depends on how much light you've got as to how um, bigger f number you can choose uh, for that particular uh, situation obviously you can increase your ISO number which I've talked about before but in this case um, you can also increase your effective depth of field I suppose you're not increasing your depth of field but if you move sideways then the animal is not obviously going off into the background it's sort of at right it's sideways to the camera so more of it will be in focus regardless of um, the aperture you've picked so if you're on f8 or f7.1 and you're shooting sideways uh, so the animal's sideways to the camera more of it's going to be in focus than if its head is facing you and the body's going into the background so that's just something else you can do to effectively increase your depth of field so i hope you've enjoyed this uh, vlog today uh, if you have enjoyed it um, and you haven't already perhaps you can think about subscribing to my channel that would be great and if you do subscribe press the little bell icon and um, you'll be notified when my next vlog is up and if you do like this vlog uh, perhaps you can press the uh, thumbs up and give it a like and that'll be fantastic so that's about it now I've had an absolutely stunningly great day the weather's great the animals have been brilliant I've got some nice video footage as well as some stills so again really happy so uh, I think it's a bye for now guys and time for tea and chocolate so I'll speak to you soon Thank you.